Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Welcome back. Welcome back to Class 12. Intermediate. Here we are in the intermediate class. Time now to take a quick look before we start with today's new material. I do have a question from our website, a question sent in by intermediate student Liliana from Pozuelo, who has asked about the difference between at the end and in the end. And basically, this is a very good question. Basically, at the end is used to refer to the end of a period of time. At the end of class, the teacher gave us homework. At the end of this class, I will say goodbye. At the end of the movie, I turned off the TV and went to sleep. At the end of the day, the workers all go home. Okay? Whereas in the end, significa... Al final, in Spanish, or finalmente. I complained to customer service, and in the end, they gave me a refund. I didn't like the food, but in the end, I ate it. Okay? Basically, it's like eventually in English. Que, and, and you have to remember that that's not eventualmente, por cierto, okay? Eventually is not the same as eventualmente, right? But um, eventually is essentially the same as al final. So I hope this answers your question, Liliana. And I can also discuss a comment here from, from Nuria from Madrid, who has asked a question to one of our teachers, Brian, through the website. And uh, basically she was wondering about about to, a punto de, a punto de hacer algo, about to do something, about to go. I'm about to explain it. Are you about to listen to my explanation? I hope so. About to. And there was a question in the evaluation, I believe it was lesson nine, question 10 of the intermediate, where she says, yes, he is about to get on the bus. And that was correct. But she says, uh, she asks, why not about, uh, about to gets? Because it was, the subject was he. But remember, when we talk about a punto de, about, about to, it's always about to infinitive. Always, regardless of the form, independent of the person. I'm about to get on the bus. He's about to get on the bus too. It never changes. He's about to buy the book. She's about to go out to dinner. I'm about to explain the difference. We're about to practice. We're about to move on. Okay? I hope you understand this structure. A punto de, about to, infinitive. Always the same, regardless of the subject. Okay, Christine? I hope that answers your question. Or, I'm sorry, Nuria. Ho I hope that answers your question, Nuria. And um, let's move on. Now, in the last class, class 11... We talked about the verb to run. Today I run. Yesterday I ran. I always run on the weekend. Yesterday I ran. Okay? When I was young, I ran on the weekends also. Did you run last weekend? Now be careful with the pronunciation. Run, not run. Okay? Run. Run. We also talked about some other meanings of the verb to run, like to operate a business, to run a business. My uncle ran a business for many years. A program runs on television. Okay? The Simpsons is a show that has run on television for about 20 years. We can also have to water or liquid. If I, if I spill my coffee, it will run across the table, and onto the floor. To run across the table, to move across the surface, to run, okay? And to run can also be, well, we say to run for is to present your candidacy for a position, for a specific position, to run for president, okay? I wonder how fast Carl Lewis can run now. He was a great runner. 
He was a great runner. And he had, back in 1988, he set the world record for running the 100 meters at the Olympics. But the world record is now held by Usain Bolt, who ran the 100 meters in, I believe it was 9.69 seconds at the Beijing Olympics. Amazing. Incredible. Now, in line with the structure of the questions in the book, in your student guide, answer my questions. Did you run a kilometer yesterday? Yes, I ran a kilometer yesterday. Do you run every day? Yes. En voz alta, conmigo. Yes, I run every day. Did you run 60 kilometers last month? Yes, I ran 60 kilometers last month. Did you run for president last year? Yes, I ran for president last year. So using that extra meaning that we just discussed, to run for, to present your candidacy in an election, for example. Okay, next we talked about about to, a punto de. That's right, about to, just like the question that we had in the, uh, just like the question that we had from, who was it again? Nuria, that's right, about to, about to. He was. He is about to get on the bus. But now we, we, we can practice here, in, well, in class 11, in the last class, we practiced with the past. I was about to call him when he called me. I was about to fix dinner when my phone rang. I was about to. I was about to do it. I was just going to start. I was about to do it when you called. I was about to go out with my friends when my mother called, and I so I stayed home and spoke to her. Okay, so tell me to pick up my phone. Tell me to pick up my phone. En voz alta. Kyle, pick up your phone. Okay, I'm now I'm reaching for it. What now what am I about to do? You're about to pick up the phone. You're about to pick up the phone. Okay. Now what was I about to do? Ten seconds ago, what was I about to do? Well, you were about to pick up your phone. You were about to pick up the phone. Yes, it's my phone. I can say I was about to pick up my phone or I was about to pick up the phone. Okay. So, tell me to stand up. Stand up. All right, okay. I'm I'm about to stand up. I'm about to stand up. And then oh, no, I I'd, I'd better not. I'm I'm going to stay. I was about to stand up, but I decided not to. So, what what was I about to do? I was about to stand up. I was about to stand up. So, give me an affirmative answer. Were you about to call when he called you? Yes, I was about to call when he called me. Yes, I was about to call when he called me. Were we about to finish the class when Alberto arrived? Yes, we were about to finish the class when Alberto arrived. Was I about to explain something before I got interrupted? Yes, you were about to explain something before you got interrupted. Was the racer about to win just before he crashed? Yes, he was about to win just before he crashed. I remember, I think it was the, the Tour de France a few years ago, seeing a racer, uh, a cyclist, in the Tour de France who was about to win a stage, and he was celebrating, he had his hand, he let go. right? He let go of the, the handlebars on his bike, he let go of the controls. He released the controls. He had his hands in the air. He was celebrating, and he was about to win the race. He was about to win the stage, and he lost control of the bike, and he fell. And as soon as he fell, well, two or three other cyclists went past him, and uh, the, the next guy won the stage. And so he, he got up, and he had to Actually, I think he ran with his bicycle across the finish line. But he was about to win. He was about to win, but he crashed. Were you about to ask a question? Yes, I was about to ask a question. Okay, I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish this and move on to... 
Word of the day. That's right, to the word of the day. The word of the day. The word of the day today is palanca. Palanca. I like that word in Spanish. But in English, we say, well, I, in, with my accent, I will say lever. Lever. Now, British people, I believe, would say lever. So you could say lever or lever. Lever or lever. Okay? Lever or lover. Sorry, l sorry, lever or lever. Lever. It kind of, kind of reminds me of the lines of a song, love her or leave her. <laughs> but no, Le lever or lever. Palanca. Palanca. All right. So imagine a lever on a door, a handle. We have a big lever on the studio door here to help us keep it locked, to lock it shut, to seal the door. All right. Now let's move on to class 12, 12.2, where we're practicing with numbers. And again, we're going to focus with teens and then numbers that end in zero. This time, 16 and 60. 16 and 60. So what's important, again, is the intonation. Like so many other things in English, the intonation is very important. And we have 16. Da, da. The intonation on the second syllable. Whereas with 60, we have the intonation on the first syllable. 60, 60, 16, 60. Okay? So... I'm going to dictate some numbers, and I'd like you to write them down and then read them back to me, okay? Are you ready? Number one, the first number, 116,000, 260, 160,260, <laughs> 116,160. 516,160. Okay. The first number? 116,000. 116,000. 116, comma, zero, zero, zero. And the second number? 260. Remember, 100 and, 100 and, 100 and. That's right. And the third number, what was the third number? 160,260. That's right. Good job. And the fourth number, 116,160. Very good. And the final number, 516,160. Okay, 516, comma, one six zero. Did you get that right? Did you get all right? Did you get all five right? Did you get five out of five? All right, let's try a bonus number. One more number before we move on. Write this down. 360,116. Okay, good. Did you get that right? 360,116. 360. Zero comma, one, one, six. Good. Remember, hundred and, hundred and. We're not saying thousand and, but we're saying hundred and. And after the word thousand, there's no S. Not plural, not thousands, but thousand and hundred. Okay, so 360,116. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. All right, time now to take a look at the vocabulary of the day. The first word today is esperanza de vida. Esperanza de vida. Yeah, that's right. Life expectancy. Life expectancy. You know, the, they say the life expectancy is increasing. People are living longer. They have a greater life expectancy. People are living longer these days. I suppose that's a good thing. The second one, alto, un ruido, alto, loud, loud, loud. Do you listen to loud music? 
you know what I'm, I, th- I think the city is actually very, very loud. Being out on the street is very loud. And uh, it's tiring being out on the street. The constant volume, the constant traffic, it's very loud. I notice it if I'm listening to music on the street and I, I have my my uh, an MP3 player, I'm listening to music on the street, then I come into my house and at night, if I turn on the music again at the same volume, I realize, wow, the, the volume is very loud because I needed it to be very loud to to um, to hear the music over the traffic. So the traffic and the noise on the street is very loud itself. Oi, India. Nowadays, nowadays, the life expectancy is quite long. Nowadays. Porcentaje. Percentage. That's right, percentage. Borde. Filo. Edge. 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 All right, very good. The edge. All right, I'm going to finish this class soon. I'm going to finish it soon. But first, I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you going to pay attention? Are you going to listen to what I'm saying? Are you going to repeat out loud? Are you going to answer my questions? Are you going to do your best? Are you going to follow the lesson? I hope so. Okay, going to. Yes, going to. Going to. Voy a hacer algo. I am going to do something. Ask me if I'm going to make a pizza. Are you going to make a pizza? Yes, I am. I think I will make a pizza. Maybe this weekend. Ask me if I'm going to drive to Barcelona. Are you going to drive to Barcelona? Ask me if I'm going to call my brother tomorrow. Are you going to call your brother tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to call my brother tomorrow. Ask me if I'm going to take a break soon. Yes. Oh, ask me. Kyle, are you going to take a break soon? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm going to take a break soon. A commercial break. Yes. Ask me if I'm going to finish the class soon. Kyle, are you going to finish the class soon? Now, are you going to are you going to listen to the advanced class? I hope so. Are you going to pay attention to all, to all the classes? I hope so. Are you going to listen to the radio tomorrow? Again, I hope so. All right, good job. Very well done. Make sure, guys, everyone, if you have questions, make sure to log on to the website, www.aprendeingles, um, excuse me, baoganingles, baoganingles.com, and you can send us your questions, and our team of teachers will answer those questions, and I will also discuss all the questions on the air so everyone can benefit from your questions and the answers. We're going to a commercial break now. Take care. Please keep listening. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>